People have asked me what I mean by saying that humanity has become a suicide cult. You know, survival is one of the most powerful instincts in, well, it had, had been in people, but you see it reflected in animals everywhere. You look at animals, uh, cattle, the mothers protect the children. Uh, you see it in goats. You, know, you see it in, of course, primates, this protection. They want their children to, to have food. They want their children to be safe. They want their children to learn skills and to, to succeed in reproducing through a sexual reproduction with a partner that sustains the species. And these are, these are natural, innate drives for all sustainable living systems that, that are mammals in particular. And yet today, because of the twisted state of our sick society, our parents are no longer interested in the survival of their children. They're interested in conformity. So the desire to survive has been replaced with the desire to conform. And parents, for example, they, they don't raise their children anymore. They turn them over to the state to be raised by public school indoctrination systems, and even worse, to be raised by mobile devices. So the average 12, 13, 14-year-old now is living inside a virtual world in their phone. And they may go to family events like Thanksgiving dinner or a Christmas uh, gathering or holidays or what have you, birthday party, but they're not really there. They're entirely living through their mobile device. And that mobile device means that the, the physical parents, the biological parents are just surrogates for a child that's actually raised by the state because through that device is only approved information. Social media has become really a social indoctrination. Google, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and so on, they only allow information that enslaves humanity. They've banned all independent voices. They've banned conservative voices, pro-liberty voices, pro-freedom voices. The only thing that's allowed to go through those phones now and indoctrinate the children is information that contributes to their mental imprisonment and enslavement. And the parents stand by and allow this to happen. It's as if you know, I've seen deer and mothers protect their deer, the, the, the child, and they, they flee. Typically deer are, are good runners. And so they flee danger and the mother, even the father will have a snort sound and they, they make that sound and it alerts the children to flee with them and they run together. But in the human world now, the parents don't even have their children flee the imprisonment of the globalists and the indoctrination system. The parents subject their children to it. The parents send their children to public schools where they send their children, where they buy their children mobile devices that will further indoctrinate them. So the parents aren't being parents anymore. And it's even worse. Many parents are now promoting transgenderism among their children because it makes their children popular and it makes the parents popular. So this is an adult sexualization agenda. Uh, it's even kind of a, a type of pedophilia where these left-wing adults who call themselves progressives, they brainwash their children into becoming transgenders because it's popular now. Well, transgenderism involves either chemical castration or the genital mutilation of your children, children if they undergo the surgical procedures to change their gender. Well, this is maiming your child and destroying their ability to reproduce. They can't have children anymore once their reproductive parts are surgically maimed. And even if they're just chemistry castrated or chemistry al chemically altered, they are also made infertile. And parents are doing this. Human parents are making their own children infertile because it's popular among the left-wing cult. Now, nowhere in nature do you see parents encouraging their children to become infertile. Nowhere in nature do you see transgenderism. It is an artificial, twisted social construct. Really, it's, it's mass mental illness that now afflicts humankind. Transgenderism is not normal. And it cannot sustain any species because you can't reproduce. Sexual reproduction through heterosexual relationships is the very foundation of sustainability of the species. 
And it's fascinating to all these left-wing people who talk about sustainability of society. We have to have sustainability. They don't support sustainability of the species, of the human species. They all promote transgenderism or even gay partners, which, you know, ethically, I, always, I, I support people's freedom of choice in that matter. But let's face it, gay couples can't get pregnant, whether it's two gay women or two gay men. They cannot reproduce. And this is what is being promoted. I mean, they have to adopt a baby or have artificial insemination or something. I mean, even two women, if they are lesbians and they want to become parents, they have to, there has to be sperm involved somewhere in this. So there's a man somewhere in this picture, just maybe they don't want the man present. But the continuation of the species is dependent on sexual reproduction. In fact, the history of life on Earth, uh, in mammals in particular, is it's only possible through sexual reproduction, which, of course, allows the species to improve itself over time through natural selection. But now humans have stopped natural selection. Humans have stopped survival of the fittest. In fact, humans have stopped teaching survival at all. Humans have become a suicide cult. And this is in addition to all the mass chemical poisoning, where parents go out and they shop for foods at the grocery store for their own children, foods that are heavily saturated with toxic, cancer-causing chemicals, infertility chemicals, mind-altering chemicals. So they buy this toxic food, they feed it to their children. And then they go, they go see a doctor or a psychiatrist when their child starts acting strangely because they're being fed all this poison. And they say, well, there's something wrong with my child. He has attention deficit disorder. And then the doctor or the psychiatrist prescribes mind-altering psychotropic drugs that stunt the brain development of the child. And the parent signs off on that. The parent buys the drugs. The parent administers the drugs. Parents are drugging their own children, destroying their neurology, destroying their biology, destroying their fertility, destroying their sanity. So we are now past the tipping point. We have adults who call themselves progressives, call themselves compassionate, call themselves humanitarians. They are Democrats. They're liberals. They are, they are decimating their own children. They're decimating their own species. They commit mass abortions, of course. They promote abortions because that's killing an unborn child. So it's fully in line with their desire to destroy their own children. So we now have half of society, the left-wing half, that is dedicated to the destruction of their own children. You know, through all the things I mentioned here, through abortion, through transgenderism, through a chemical saturation causing infertility, and so on, you know, the, the, the mobile devices, the mass indoctrination of their brains, plus the 5G towers that are rolling out now. So children are no longer wanted by the left as being uh, individual thinkers or in innovative uh, creators or even parents who can have their own healthy children one day. This is the end of the human race, at least for those on the left who will, I mean, if, if, if they are in charge, they will destroy humanity. They will kill human civilization. And this is why we must prevent them from gaining political power because they will use it to destroy life, destroy children, destroy the species, destroy human civilization. And this is all the more reason to clean up your food, eat organic, focus on good nutrition, especially for expectant mothers. It's all the more reason to prepare for the collapse of society, practice survival and preparedness, make sure you can defend yourself and your family, make sure you've got good natural medicine, make sure you've got clean food, and make sure that you have good information. And along those lines, if you want to stay informed, because of course the mass media will never tell you any of these very important things about your own survival, you can go to naturalnews.com or listen to my podcast at healthrangerreport.com or watch videos at brighteon.com. That's brighteon.com. Check it all out. Maybe, maybe together we can actually, we can survive the coming population collapse that has been planned and rolled out you know, through food, medicine, infertility, chemicals, all these things I've mentioned. But maybe only one in 10 will survive. So 
it, it's a question of who really wants to live, I suppose. And a lot of people on the left today, they don't want to live. They, they, they would rather die and they want their children to die as well. And that's, that's why they kill them. That's why they poison them. And that's why they indoctrinate them. And then they call that progress. They are sick. They're criminally insane is really the point it has reached. But I thank you for listening. Share this podcast everywhere. This is Mike Adams, the Health Ranger, for naturalnews.com. Learn more at healthrangerreport.com. Thank you for watching. If you want to support our mission, visit us at healthrangerstore.com for the world's largest selection of lab-verified superfood and nutritional products for healthy living. It's at healthrangerstore.com.